The process begins with selecting a suitable stone, which could be granite, marble, slate, or sandstone, and carefully preparing it to receive the desired image. The creator and artist tells the business report it requires patience, precision, and a deep understanding of the stone's properties. Well, lapis scalpel is the form of art on natural Barbados stones. Um, the stones that I use are sedimentary rock, not coral stone, not limestone. These rocks have been washed up on the beach um, in certain areas where they have been compounded against each other for thousands of years, giving you the, the density of it. So, so lapis scalpel allows me then to put ink onto the stone, and then I use a scalpel to scratch it off. Thus, the name of lapis scalpel, which is lapis, is Latin for, um, for stone, and scalpel, which means to scratch or to scrape. So I'm basically scratching the imagery off of the stone, giving you the original looks of, of portraits and any issue, any item or any picture that you can possibly want on a stone. The artist says discussions are already taking place with regards to opening the doors of the studio. He says the public can also provide personal pieces. I have just gotten I'm getting approval now from the Coastal Zone unit to, to make sure that I am authorized. And I am, because they themselves see and I'm very impressed with it. But in order to sell it, you don't want persons overseas to think that we're going in the ocean and taking something up. So right now, I'm not anywhere as of yet, um, but I'm looking forward to having my own studio further up in the north of St. Lucie. And eventually, and also, also the hotels in Barbados, I'll be able to decorate their locations and restaurants with especially the sea fans. Mr. Sober says nature is not disturbed by lapis scalpel, but is enhanced. They have an oil inside of every single one of them that by manipulating that oil by means of other methods, I can now shape the sea fans and the sea rods into any shape that I possibly want to, to put them in. And then we have the pictures of the items of the, um, of what looks like flowers. They're not flowers, they're actually patria plants that we have growing in Barbados. So I apply those to the ends of the sea whips and the sea rods, which give them a look of, of a bouquet. And they're natural and they're 100% made in Barbados and made of Barbados. The artist says the process is new to Barbados and he's willing to offer training in the discipline. Trevor Thorpe for the Business Report.